The president of the European Commission, Jose Manuel Barroso, traveled this week to Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories. The three-day visit began on Sunday with meetings with President Mahmoud Abbas and Prime Minister Salam Fayyad. During his visit, President Barroso called for a return to Israeli-Palestinian talks, warning the peace process must not become an orphan of the Arab Spring. He made clear that a negotiated solution for the Middle East peace process remains a strategic priority for the European Union and reiterated Europe's strong commitment to a two-state solution. President Barroso also participated in the inauguration of an EU-funded Palestinian police academy in Jericho, increasing security while fully respecting human rights in the occupied territory is a crucial element for lasting peace, stability and prosperity in the region. The visit to the Palestinian territories concluded in Bethlehem, where the president visited a refugee camp, as well as Bethlehem's Church of the Nativity and the Old City, which were recently listed on UNESCO's World Heritage Sites list. On Monday, Josie Manuel Barroso arrived in Israel for meetings with President Shimon Peres and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. During the talks, both leaders reviewed the state of EU-Israel relations. President Barroso emphasized the close nature of the bilateral relations, both from a political and economic point of view. The particular success of the cooperation on science and research was illustrated with the signature of a Memorandum of Understanding on Cooperation on Energy and Water. The two leaders also discussed the regional situation with President Barroso stating the EU's support for democratic change and political and economic reforms in the wider neighborhood. He expressed his deep concern with the deterioration of the situation in Syria and the need for a peaceful political transition in accordance with the Annan plan, including an immediate cessation of violence. They also exchanged views on the ongoing diplomatic process aimed at solving the nuclear issue on Iran. President Barroso also visited the Yad Vashem Memorial, which was established in 1953 as the World Center for Documentation, Research, Education and Commemoration of the Holocaust. He then participated in an official dinner hosted by President Perez, where he expressed high personal esteem for the biographic background of President Perez and his leadership. He concluded the visit on Tuesday by receiving an honorary doctorate of the University of Haifa. In his speech at the occasion, he strongly emphasized the importance of values of freedom, democracy and non-discrimination. He also used the opportunity to reiterate one more time his call for resumption of the peace talks and a negotiated two-state solution. Back in Brussels on Wednesday, President Barroso received a visit from Bulgarian Prime Minister Bokio Borisov. He praised Bulgarian authorities for the progress made on fiscal consolidation as proved by abrogation of the excessive deficit procedure against the country in June 2012. The two leaders then discussed the recent developments in Bulgaria on judicial reform and the fight against corruption and organized crime. The European Commission is currently finalizing its reports on Bulgaria and Romania under the cooperation and verification mechanism, which the European Commission will adopt on the 18th of July. On the same day, the President received Antonella Mularoni, Secretary of State of the Republic of San Marino, talks covered mainly bilateral relations and their potential further deepening, notably in core areas of the EU internal market. The European Commission and the European External Action Service are currently analysing the options for further integration of three small European states, Andorra, Monaco and San Marino, into the internal market. Their conclusions will be finalised in the coming months. On Thursday, President Barroso convened an annual meeting of European religious leaders. The meeting was co-chaired with European Council President Herman van Rompuy and European Parliament Vice President Laszlo Soyan. This year, the focus was on solidarity and responsibility among the young and the old and demographic challenges. To tackle the economic crisis, we have been doing a lot to ensure the right balance between solidarity and responsibility among member states. But we need to devote at least as much attention to solidarity and responsibility among the young and the old. Ultimately, 
will only be able to come out of this crisis and lay the foundations of a prosperous future if we keep solidarity between people and generations at the heart of our actions. President Barroso stressed that religious communities can make an important contribution to this and that churches and religious communities are well placed to build bridges in societies. He then recalled numerous initiatives the European Commission has put forward to support and foster intergenerational solidarity. The president also very strongly defended the freedom of religion and condemned attacks on religious minorities. A few hours later, President Barroso met with Romania's Prime Minister Victor Ponta and expressed his serious concerns about recent political events in the country, which are jeopardizing the role of the Constitutional Court. He made clear that the Romanian government must respect the full independence of the judiciary, restore the powers of the court, and ensure that its decisions are observed. President Barroso welcomed the assurances he received from Prime Minister Ponta that the measures falling under the powers of the government will be undertaken immediately. Thank you.